the assessment first, dear colleagues, uh, dear friends, dear students, I'm really privileged, honored today to speak in front of you, uh, mostly because we are, I'm going to speak about the role of innovation, communication technology, and also the future development. Uh, my name is Jerry Richard, I'm a professor of the Faculty of Technical and Computer, Computer Engineering and uh, at the Department of Computer Engineering. What I'm going to talk today is about ICT sector of the school, about information technology sector, internet, mobile and free telephone, the part of ICT sector, uh, the ICT sector policy and legislation, where customer stands compared to the neighboring countries, where we stand to the European Union, uh, education as the main driver for uh, workforce potential, I believe strongly on that, and current initiatives from European Union to the neighboring countries of the solar and future steps. Please interrupt me anytime you have questions or just leave your question at the end we have a small discussion. Uh, the main document about the ICT sector in Kosovo is done by USID. Both some fans of USID say, of course, we done all assessment here in Kosovo and also the assessment of the global ICT sector. This is really a very comprehensive document. Can everybody hear in the back? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the assessment was done by USID. It was finished in the 15th September 2007. About three months work, but really comprehensive. It has all data needed. 30, 40 pages, but all data in the ICT sector. Interviews, etc. stakeholders. And based on this document, also the ICT sector was divided into two goals. IT, information technology and communication. Uh, in IT, the long software development, everything that has software, and also hardware we sell. <coughs> Communication, fixed, mobile telephone service, and of course, internet. Let's start with the information technology sector. It has about 50 million euro revenue. For a country like we are, it's not small. Most of this uh, revenue counts 30% of services, which means software development, all services, and 70% hardware we sell. As in, we don't produce hardware, we just recycle. In our sector, in the Kosovo, 20% of companies have more than 20 employees. In all, 80% are companies with one person, two or more. Uh, there are, in 2007, about 600 people were involved in ICT, in IT information technology. <coughs> there is not including those IT guys working in the non IT companies. Right now, I think every company, besides the managing director, has an IT administrator, database administrator, network administrator, so any company at least has three people. Managing director and IT guy. What about labor costs in Kosovo? The junior staff is paid about 300 to 500 euro per month, and the senior staff from 550 to 800. Compared to our GDP, compared to our average salaries, this is very above average salary. I'm very glad for my colleagues in my sector. We can discuss what's okay, not okay, or what we should do to have more salary or less salaries. Comparing with our neighboring countries, I think we are a little bit expensive. And there's a really good question here, why? Why we are so much expensive? Do we need more people here? Or we are looking for very sophisticated services? Communication sector, it comprises of the three main ISP providers, Vitesa, IPCO, and Voda, and PTK. In fact, the Telecommunication Regulatory Authority has issued till now 10 licenses. But in fact, we have only three, as you know, <coughs> providers that are connected to a regional network for often internet services. It has about 200 million euros annual of revenue. We now PPK, Bitcoin, and others. And broadband internet services vary from 8 to 45 euros per month from family customers and all from our family customers. <coughs> but it's most important that all these three ICPs, big ICPs, we take the and PTK, they are pushing this triple play. They are. Now, seeing that the market is looking for these three services, we this voice, data, and video. As I suppose all of you have internet at home, so you can make also physical uh, fixed phone, but also 
allocated to you, and of course, the internal activity. Internal penetration. This is the best uh, information for how we are with the internet, how we use the internet. Because Thomas went amongst the lowest country in Europe using the internet penetration. This was the latest data from Internet World Statistics. We have just, we are just in front of Albania and Ukraine, but we are all behind <coughs> all of the European countries. The average of European countries is about 50% of the European Why is this important to us? I mean, just to compare it model from Macedonia, it's very up, about 43, 45, Montenegro, also Serbia. Mm. So we are just behind all of our neighboring <coughs> countries. The same data now in Camel forward. We are here, about 21%, but if you see the top of Europe, Average 50%, which means if you have to know an application or internet, the whole world will see, the whole world will use it. And in Europe, you have about 400 million customers. If you make an application, let's say you pay $1 for an application for using it, you'll have $400 million revenue. Or you have just a Google has per click. One cent per click, how much money, how much deal, but you'll have four minutes. Using internet, not home or at work, but using internet, just using. <coughs> I don't have this figure here just to know that you have a huge market. If you have developing a new product, new application, new service, first thing is who are your customers, how many of them? Because your market is going to go saturation very fast. But here you have 400 million customers, possible customers. Of course, all of them will not click on your page and you will not receive money, but you have a possible. Potentially 400 million of users. When the Kosovo stands regarding the mobile subscribers, uh, this here is a Kosovo here. This is an old graph from before declaring the independence, therefore, this separation here. This is European Union average. So we are now about 51 55% of mobile subscribers, which means every second citizen in Kosovo has a mobile phone. Of course, this is different for rural areas and for uh, non rural areas. But on average, we are about, uh, in January 28, we are about 51 to 55%. Other countries, of course, they are much better than we are. Uh, for example, Montenegro has 160%. 160%. Does anybody have an idea what this means, having 160% in mobile? So most people have got two different most people have two phones, two phone numbers. Of course, most of us probably here in this room have two phone numbers, it's quite hard enough. But in Montenegro, everyone has more than one phone. At least, the half of the citizens have two phones. Uh, this can also be the case for the criminal use of phone. You get the I mean, chip line, you use it for two weeks and throw it away. Yes, of course, of so course. It's it's course. Artificial increases the number of people. Yes, this is a number that has a... Uh, uh, providers of the service have given. They said they have issued 1,000 calls if they use them for one speech or one hour or one week or that is another another indicator for this that Montenegro is a touristic country and people only go yes. to this and buy but very good business. It is good business. And they're here for business. They use it only for yes. a week or two and then from the Of course. But they sell it, they get some revenue for that. But actually to use this as an indicator of the number of people using it and yes. Of course, after one some period of time, the, of the service provider uh, deletes this inactive account. But they prefer to use the data because yes. when they want to sell the company, they decide to change the market value. That's increasing the market value of the company. Uh, but the third is the sector policy. Uh, where we stand as a country. In fact, we are achieving all these general goals of having promoting the market entry, promoting competition at level playing, achieving universal, universal access, services, and ensure <coughs> optimal usage of our scan resources. Uh, some of you may know, for example, that we have already used our uh, frequency for 900 megahertz. If the third uh, investor will come in telecommunication in mobile, we don't have any available frequencies 900 uh, megahertz 